Every time we collect a, a new coral, we are always amazed. Oh my God. Sometimes we are lucky enough to discover a new species to science. <laughs> it's amazing. Some of the corals in these uh, ecosystems can live for thousands of years. That they are, that they are, this is control head on bearing north for two zero zero meters. Oh, wow. Coral communities are sometimes called marine animal forests. If we lose the corals, it's like losing the sequoia forest in California. We lose this important component of biodiversity, but we also may lose important services that these corals provide. My name is Thelma Morato, and I study the deep sea. My name is Marina Carreri Silva. I'm a deep sea ecologist. My research mainly focuses on cold water corals. As a group at the university, we have been doing a great effort to map the deep sea communities that exist in the Azores. And with OceanX, we have the opportunity to study them in better details. The goal of our study is to understand what lives in the deep ocean and share that with the community and with our governments for an improved management of our oceans. We targeted areas where we suspect there are interesting deep sea ecosystems that we know little about. Two emblematic seamounts called Princess Alice and those around Kastem. The Azores have more than 400 seamounts. We live on the Mid-Atlantic region. It's the largest mountain chain on planet Earth. It goes from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Seamounts create special oceanographic conditions that are different from the surrounding ocean. There's a lot of life that is associated with these underwater mountains. Common inhabitants of the seamounts are corals and also sponges, but also it, it aggregates all sorts of other organisms like fish and seabirds and sea mammals. Uh, control, control, this is Neptune, over. Control, mark this location, sample one, two, and three. Octocoral, sponge, and soft coral. Location, suction sample one. We have a long-term vision, which is visiting every mountain or sea mount that exists inside the Azores EZ. And with this, I have a document of the species and the diversity that lives in those waters. And also to understand what have been the impacts of the human activities on those communities. And in terms of human impacts, we refer to impacts of fishing activities, climate change, and the potential impact of deep sea mining. We are trying to answer different questions about the deep ocean. What is the um, distribution of these communities? Why do they exist in a certain area and not in other areas? What are the ideal conditions for their existence? One very important aspect of this expedition is the ability to collect samples using the ROV and the submersibles. This way we can be certain of the species that we see we have hundreds of hours of underwater video images of the seafloor, but we see a lot of species that we can't identify, we can't put a name on. We need those biological samples in order to go back to our lab and try to identify the species that we see on the video images. Every time we collect a, a new coral, we are always amazed. Sometimes we are lucky enough to uh, discover new species to science. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Wow. Certainly, there are many species still to be discovered. 
some of the corals in these uh, ecosystems can live for thousands of years. They live very long, but they grow very, very slowly, less than one millimeter a year. This means that they are very sensitive to any impact because they will take a long time to recover. The corals in the lab come from very deep and usually we haven't had a chance to collect the corals properly before they are transferred to our acquired facilities. The impacts that we are posing to the deep sea now will last for centuries to millennia. The deep sea plays a very important role for the planet because it stores a lot of the CO2 that is in excess in the atmosphere and a lot of excess heat. And because of that, it's also changing. Climate change is happening really fast. It's not something that will happen in the future. It is happening now. Other human impacts that are starting to be of concern is deep sea mining. We also did some experimental work in our lab, but also some modeling work to try to evaluate what could be the impact of deep sea mining in the Azores if it occurs. And Marina found that most corals would die after four to seven days exposure to the mining plumes. Cold water coral ecosystems play a lot of important roles. They form structure habitats to many different species that live upon them. They also play important roles to man. Some of the fish species that use corals as their home are of commercial interest. We are taking the corals back to the lab and then we are conducting experiments to try to understand how will they respond to ocean acidification and global warming. And we'll see how the corals react and then we can better understand if they will uh, resist the future climate. Working on the deep sea, as you know, is quite hard and having the chance of having submersibles and ROVs to explore the deep ocean and collect samples is a unique opportunity. We found some sponge and coral communities that can be classified as marine vulnerable ecosystems. Some of them we have rarely found, and we had the chance to collect more than 200 samples. I think we very likely found uh, some potential new species. Now that the mission will end, our hard work in the lab will start. I think we have data that we can analyze for different perspectives for more than 10 years, actually. One of the reasons that drives my work is fascination for the unknown, but also this feeling that we need to, to pay back to the society the opportunity that we have to do exploration. I think being a scientist is in a way similar to being an artist in, in the sense that you commit yourself completely to what you are doing. I feel completely committed to understanding how these ecosystems formed by cold water corals work and also how can we find ways of protect them not only from direct human impacts but also from climate change. What can we do to better uh, help them to survive?